Hello there! Today we're gonna talk about tools that will help you improve your hydroponics gardening and these are these these are the pH pen this is used to measure the pH of your water <clears throat> and this is a TDS pen this is used to measure the concentration of your hydroponic solution <clears throat> Well, for starters, uh, I used to just uh, mix my hydroponic solution according to the instructions of the manufacturer. They say 1 liter is equivalent to 2 milliliter of A solution and additional 2 milliliters of B solution. Well, those work. Uh, they will always work because... The manufacturer already tested this however this could produce different results depending on what kind of tap water or where do you get your tap water where do you get your the water that you're using for your hydroponic solution thing is uh, the manufacturer of course will use water that is available in their area what if they're using a different uh, water concessionaire or they are using different water treatment that is uh, of higher pH compared to the one that you're using so already you'll be getting a different kind of result so uh, let's go with this um, uh, I have samples here of pechay or pak choy that I have grown in uh, nutrient uh, nutrient solutions or hydroponic solutions with different TDS and pH values. The nutrient solution or nutrient concentration for the pak choy that I use in reference to the web page is about 1000 and the pH of 7 and this one this grew i grew this on a uh, nutrient uh consent uh, nutrient solution or gr <laughs> i grew this in a grow bed specifically intended for lettuce with uh 600 uh 700 ppm and 6.5 ph and obvious results we have smaller leaves and nutrient deficient leaves uh, I never been able to harvest any from this plant because all of the leaves are small, not not good enough for harvest. So this was just sitting there for thirty days. With comparison to this other thirty day old pak choy, uh, it has I have been eating these and I have harvested from this about twice already, and leaves grow are definitely bigger because it was growing in an in a solution intended for pak choy so in conclusion to this experiment it is best to tailor your nutrient solution for the specific needs of the plant they will grow faster and you will get more Harvest, or you can harvest earlier. See, uh, it's an obvious difference. This is way weaker. This is stronger, bigger leaves, and ready to eat compar and compared to this. So, I think that's about it for this video. I just want to share because... I already asked this question in a hydroponics group and nobody really gave me a, an answer that would satisfy me so I just experimented on my own. And thank you. Just in case you're curious as to how the lettuce are growing in the lettuce intended grow bed, here they are. They grew on target 30 days for harvest and this was sitting on that grow bed and here we are with 
small leaves and nutrient deficient leaves you know, look at that you know, that's not that's not right so there you have it tailor your nutrient solution